Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. I'm going to show you how you use conditional formatting on a data table, how you can change the color of the text. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different rankings. This is the conditional part. Based on the profit margin, we'll assign it a value of money maker, meet expectations, caution, or trouble. These could be any values that you want. I have another one that I've created called sales rank. Very similar. Dif a little bit different in that this is not aggregated, so we want to aggregate it. So these values are what we expect to see. In the first example, it was already off of an aggregated function. Next, we're going to bring the sales rank over. And you can see we've assigned some colors. And I've already gone ahead and assigned the colors here. There's not a lot of difference. So I'm going to pull that off. And we're going to look at profit margin rank. And now we've got a lot of red, some orange. But I'm ending up with um, the totals and subtotals being different colors, which I don't want. And after years of working with Tableau, I just found what we need to do for this. We're going to come up here under the color. You see this total using? Now you can do this with regular subtotals, right? You can here, if you want to hide the total so it doesn't show up, you can hide. We're doing the same thing with color. Come under here, total using, we're going to hide. And what you'll see is up here is there's a missing, shows as missing. And that purple is what the subtotals and totals are. So we come over to edit colors under missing. And I usually go, you can go under colorblind or Seattle grays. Either one has a really dark gray that I use that. And so now you've got colors for the products the rows, and then totals and subtotals look like they're a normal color. Next way of doing this is I change from text to bar. And I've got a measure here, and it's just the value 1. So I'm going to bring that over, and I'm going to drop that on size. And what that's going to give me is it's going to give me bars of varying lengths. And that's because it's a sum. If I change it to average, they're all going to be the same length. All the bars will be the same length and it totally fills up the square. You may have to come under size. I think the default is here. You may have to come under size and make the, the bar size. This is actually the width of the bar, the full amount. And then you can come and you can drop, we want profit margin rank, sorry. And then that's where you get the different colors and you see the trouble, that the total there. And we can change that by coming here, getting rid of, hiding that. And then in this case, since they don't have a white, I usually like to pick a really light gray. Seattle Grays has that. Now you've got the different, the colors for gray. Third option. Maybe you want, you, you want to have intensities for these different colors. So let's bring over measure values. And you can see these measure values are different colors based on the measure. Now what you may need to do is come under here, it says show measure value shelf. Uh, it may start off as combined. And so that's where it's saying, okay, here's the range. And this does not work great if you've got percentages against dollars versus quantities. So you want to come under measure values, use separate legends. So maybe we're in a situation like this and we say, well, you know, for the quantity, I don't really want that colored. So we're going to come under quantity. We're going to edit the colors. And what I do is I come under here, stepped colors, go down to two, advanced, have the start and end the same, have it be the same value. And then you can come up here and change the color. I will change it to green so it's visible. And we're going to hit apply. 
and now all of them except the totals are green. And we're going to go say, go ahead and include the totals. And so now the whole row is green. That doesn't work great in this case, but I mean, if you could, you could put in black. Let's see if we can do black. So now they're all black. You may want a different gray, but now you can see come in here and you can mess with these colors too. And that's one of the ways where you can get some of the columns to be normal color and some columns to be formatted. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.